Welcome back to 49ers Sack High Sports. We continue tonight with game two of the Capital Valley League matchup between Roseville and Antelope. The Tigers taking game one of the series. Roseville senior Ramon Esparza sports a 375 batting average. The Antelope Titans come into this week with a 5-4 and four record. Aiden Senior is batting in the mid 400s for the Titans, while his twin brother Eric is 1-0 on the mound with a 1.7 ERA. The Tigers and Titans in game two of the three-game set Thursday afternoon. Here come the Antelope Titans in game two of their series with Roseville Thursday. Top of the third, it's 1-0 Roseville when Seth Bamowski goes all out for this ball in right field. A nice catch there from the sophomore. Then in the bottom of the inning, runners on first and second for the Titans. Aiden Sinor grounds this one up the middle. That scores Jonah Eldridge from second. We are knotted up at one. Top of the fourth, a cleanup hitter comes on with one on and no one out. Max Wiles demolishes this ball to the left center gap. That RBI double scores Ramon Esparza from first, and the Tigers put up a very crooked number in the fourth. Wiles back at the plate after batting around the order. He gets the same outcome. This time the bases are juiced, and Max clears them. Four RBIs on the day for the number four hitter. He'd get hit on the very next batter. That's Parker Hellickson. This one close to going all. All the way, but it hits off the bottom of the fence. Wiles trots home. Hellickson trots into second. 10-1 Tigers after four. Meanwhile, starting pitcher Dylan Schmidt settling in on the mound, going four strong, allowing just that one earned run. Gavin Ruggiero makes it a 10-run game with a hard hit single to right. That one scoring J.D. Margaroni, so the Titans have some work to do. Jason Witten in the bottom of the fifth hits a sinking liner to left to get things started. Titans would score two in the inning on a couple of errors, so it's 12-3 Tigers in the bottom of the seventh. Brady Ranallo comes into pitch, and the Roseville defense shows out. That shortstop David Centeno with a nice backhand, but his teammate tries to one-up him. Ricky Bastianelli tracks down this long hit ball in left center and comes up with the catch to end the game. Roseville takes game two of the series behind the wild bat of Max Wiles.